Now I'm just about to start my talk on Yevrum. The late cat just come over a few minutes ago. He wanted attention. He needs to know sometimes, he just needs a little affection, a little love, and that's a part of the age room. Uh, love, inspiration, love is probably one of the most inspiring things, because the age room is a room of good and inspiration. Let me backtrack a little. Age is a word of uh, Old Norse origin, it's, of, um, it's found in the Norwegian and Icelandic traditions of heathenism is the term for the family of the main family of gods. It's also a word that means a god. So when you see A's, they're talking about a deity, a god, and in that meaning, it also means good. The A's rune is good, not the abstract good of oh, be good and you'll be spiritual, but oh, a good cup of coffee, like I have here, a good cup of coffee. Rock Island Railroad, good-looking locomotives, um, a good candy bar, a good nap, good sex, a good day to take a walk. When you recognize good, you're recognizing that quality in the A's room, from the A's room, and also a quality shared with the gods, because the gods are considered good and very good. So when you recognize them and you recognize good, you recognize the spiritual in our everyday life, because this world is as spiritual as any other. A's is an amazing room, because it's also inspiration. And inspiration pulls us up and it rises us, you know. It inspires and draws something from us. Sometimes it's a mood or a feeling, sometimes it's an inspiration to greater or better or more. Uh, you know what the word means. Uh, remember the old song, You Are My Heart and My Inspiration. I believe that was the Righteous Brothers. A long time ago in a faraway place, the, certain of us of a certain age know, remember these songs, and they're very inspiring. Music inspires. In fact, A's is also a rune of sound, and especially a, a one of music. Inspiration draws forth something greater from us. It's like a light pulling the best out of us. Um, if you do or make something, you know the feeling. Um, I like to cook. I'm good at it. And I feel the inspiration to want to do more. You know, you want to do better. I make those miniatures that people know, my toy soldier art. And the idea of making it better and better. And of course, writing books. And I'm sure you have things too. It could be any sort of thing. Uh, some people are better at woodwork, or craftsmanship, some at singing, music, dance. And some people are good at baseball, football. All these things are good, and it inspires. You know, when you see the guy make that amazing catch in a ball game, you feel inspired, but he's inspired. He's inspired by wanting to be the best he can at that moment. It inspires, and we are also inspired by so many things. We're inspired by uh, an amazing deed. We're inspired by uh, art, for instance. A painting can inspire. Uh, dancing for people who are into it can probably ballet would inspire them. Um, music, so many of the arts. Sculpture, you look at the work of the ancient Greeks and the statues of the gods, you look at a Michelangelo. That can be inspiring. But what's really immediately and powerful inspiring is music. And those of us of a certain age, again, remember the great songs, you know. Um, and they, music is like the milestone of your life. What song was popular when you were doing what thing? I mentioned uh, somewhere about a girl that I went out on to the, uh, used to go out on a fishing pier in Belmont with that one summer. And I remember the songs like Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress. And each song inspires a different mood. And uh, that was a good year for music. There were songs that inspired. There was a sad song, Can't Live. And there was a song that was just mellow, but kind of quizzical by America, Horse With No Name. Uh, Roundabout by Yes. All these songs inspired different things. Think of how you felt the first time you heard the Doobie Brothers with China Grove or Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water, a little older, Inagata the Davida by Iron Butterfly, 
See, we know these songs. An older generation, it might be uh, Tommy Dorsey, Glenn Miller, and these big bands, Count Basie, um, the Royal Canadians, you know, these were the big Guy Lombardo and the Royal, Royal Canadians. I remember they used to do the uh, New Year's Eve. They were the traditional New Year's Eve group up until, you know, they got too old. I mean, these guys were popular during World War II. Music inspires. I don't know. The younger generation has all their new singers now. I don't know who these people are. Lady Gaga, you know, who's basically like a Madonna clone, I guess. I don't know. Both Italian fake blonde girls. Uh, well, you know, I'll leave that alone because I can have some fun with that. And that's inspiring. Humor is inspiring, too. Humor inspires those laughs, inspires joy and happiness. Hey, you ever been with a bunch of friends and you just broke out singing a song? And it could be any, it's just one you all know. Remember the old Motown songs were great for that. They, you knew the words to them and you could sing them. And that's the joy of inspiration, the music. And the poor old cat, you know, he doesn't know about that. He just inspired them. Feel that he's loved and cared for. And love can be inspiring. Um, most of our music is love music. Remember your first love? Not necessarily your first person you dated, but the first one you really felt something for. Or that special time with someone, maybe a long time ago, but you can still call up that feeling. That's part of that inspiration. That's part of that joy. Um, we're inspired by so many different things. Spiritual inspiration. I, you know, I tell a story uh, because this happens too, these spiritual events. But here's where even A's has a dark side. And uh, I was walking down the avenue one day. I had been doing a lot of uh, work. And I had an experience where everything went light and I could almost see the underlying substance and prima materia and everything. It was just like, lasted for seconds. But like for the rest of the day, I was kind of off kilter because what happens is the spiritual experience pulls you up a little bit more out of the mundane world. And it takes a while for your unconscious mind to reconcile that burst of energy with your everyday life. And if it's really strong, uh, the effect can last for days, sometimes weeks. I've known a few individuals who got pulled off and stayed that way for years, still never really been able to get their everyday life together because they were still playing in that spiritual side of things. It's hard, it, you know, it's uh, one of those things that every room does have a dark side. And yet this Rune is pretty much benign. I enjoy talking about the music that inspires. And you have to notice different uh, music inspires different people. Like my wife is a big fan of this Jethro Tull. And I hope she don't look at this because I hate to admit it, but it all, every, all the songs all sound the same to me. You know, uh, she see something there. We went to a few concerts and wow, she's uh, like the song, A Generation Lost in Space. I don't even make it out to the asteroid belt, you know. But yet the Doobie Brothers, I hear the Doobie Brothers, I hear Steely Dan, you know, those good old songs, um, reeling in the years, and they're calling up the memories, um, Summer Breeze and other groups, that was Seals and Cross, Summer Breeze. So different music inspires different people, like in some part of the country they got Gooba music, like, you know, Johnny Cash and all that, and that inspires them. I don't know, it's country music, sorry, I, I didn't mean to make fun of the goobers, but you know, it's that music they have. That inspires them. There are people inspired by opera. Just because you can't get with it doesn't mean it's bad or it, it, it's lousy. Different things inspire different people. Country music, there are people who are really inspired. And we all know some great country songs. You know, Johnny Cash had some great tunes. Uh, he had that rocking locomotive type beat, like a steam locomotive, picking up steam. Um, there's other great country tunes, too. There's great opera, classical music, take what you want. And you can take Mon Monty Python, you know, he's a very naughty boy. But inspiration, isn't it fun to just talk about the things that inspire us? What I'd like you to do is think of this. What inspires you to do better? If you have a hobby where you make something, or a craft, or a trade where you do or make something, or an art, what is it that makes you want to do better? You don't have to tell me. And 
and I can't tell you how to do this, but it's your exercise. And if you look into it, it's your personal lesson for you only to find out how you touch the A's room in a way just peculiar to yourself. We got to make these runes personal, folks. Ah, oh, man, this pollen's got me going. Uh, I can't see straight. That's why I'm having a little problem here, but let me get off this now. Uh, it's time to go. It's time for you to relax. It's late at night. I wish you luck in your studies. Have a good one. This is Uncle Thor from the Trollwise Press.